I'm Dr. Peelin from the chemistry department. I teach organic chemistry, mostly to second year students who are interested in chemistry, biochemistry, and biology. Uh, in that course, we study carbon-containing molecules, their structures, the reactions, and the different ways that we can combine them. You might think of chemistry as being something that occurs primarily indoors when we're in the lab, but today I've moved outdoors. Uh, and the reason I'm outdoors is because we see spring blooming all around us. We see the trees blossoming, the flowers coming out, uh, and that makes for a beautiful scenery. But for some of us, me included, maybe some of you, it also causes problems because the pollen causes allergies. And so I've even noticed in the last couple of minutes my eyes start getting irritated, my sinuses get stuffed up a little bit. And so I want to talk to you a little bit about how organic chemistry can help solve these problems and some of the organic chemicals that are responsible for this problem. So let's move inside and see some of those molecules. All right, now we're back safe indoors. Uh, when my allergies act up, my go-to relief is found right here in these pills that you see right here. These look just like any other white pill you would take, maybe aspirin or something else, but let's try to think about what's in these white pills that we take and what is it doing. In this case, uh, the molecule is called loratadine. That's the common name of what you might know better as Claritin. That's what I use for my spring fever. You can see the structure here on the board uh, to my right. Uh, but first, let's talk about this molecule, another organic molecule. This is histamine, and histamine is what's responsible for the... Uh, for the immune response that you have when you sense pollen. So your body thinks the pollen is some sort of um, outside attacker and it responds by making histamine and that's what causes the allergic response. So what is loratadine doing? Uh, we see the molecule here and in organic chemistry we're going to talk a lot about the structure of molecules like this and how we'll make molecules like this. So we'll learn about these six-membered rings and the shapes they take. We'll learn reactions of these kind of benzene rings with these double bonds, how to put the chlorine onto the molecule. And even right now in organic chemistry, we're talking a lot about these C double bond O uh, groups that are on the nitrogen. Uh, in fact, when I saw this, the first thing I thought of was that that bond doesn't look very stable. Actually, we're learning reactions where these will fall apart. And so I wasn't surprised to learn that the first thing loratadine does in the body is actually the liver actually cleaves this whole group off it replaces that carbon group with an H. And that's actually the active molecule that's functioning in your body. What it's doing is it's binding to the same receptor that histamine does. And so while histamine is giving us this immune response that's, that's really bad, that gives us this watery eyes, this irritation, uh, loratadine binds to the same re receptor, blocking the histamine, but also giving the opposite response, sort of turning down the immune response. So these are all things we can learn from organic chemistry. There's some biochemistry mixed in that you'll be learning from Dr. Patton. Uh, but what really attracted me to chemistry in the first place is this idea that we can take the molecules that nature gives us, uh, water, oxygen, nitrogen, plus all the complicated molecules that we find in, in biology, and we can take them and use them as starting materials using the rules of bind bonding, the rules of chemistry, to put them together in new ways and make molecules that are completely unnatural Right? Or, or materials that are completely unnatural, materials like Dr. Sterner and Dr. Gamera make. So really, chemistry is one big playground where we've got a bunch of tools, we can put them together in different ways, do different things, and make new materials. And so that's why I like chemistry.